Hello there, it's Roman from No Code No Problem, and in this, in today's uh, case video, I will show you how to use biometrics uh, for fast login feature. So what it actually means, uh, uh, we will try to uh, save users credential on a device uh, with uh, biometrics, for example, on the first uh, login or first sign up. And after that, if they log, will be log out from the our app, uh, we will display them one more button under the sign in, uh, which will which will name as fast login. And when they will tap on it, we will try to get the credentials from the device and fill out it for uh, the user and signing them to the application without any action needed. So let's start. Uh, first of all, we need to add a uh, biometric visual component. Um, and we'll also add our fast login button for now, but we'll come back here later. Uh, the most, uh, the lot of things will happen in workflow. So first of all, um, when you're working with uh, biometrics, you need to make sure that uh, device is actually supporting it because not uh, not all devices supported uh, biometrics. Uh, for example, user can turn off it uh, or whatever, and we need just to make, sh make sure uh, on the page is low demand that our device uh, is supporting this uh, feature. So we will call check biometric support and uh, right, uh, <clears throat> the second step uh, will be is to uh, save user credential on a device uh, after they uh, successfully sign in. So for this purpose, we will use save user credential action. Uh, in login and password, you can provide, for example, for login, I will use in my case, a mail and uh, for password it will be password yeah uh password rather yeah, yeah. so and the important thing uh, is to um, actually not call this action uh, all the time all users sign in we just want to make sure that uh, this app is actually supports biometric before calling it And we need to do the same action for sign up here. But <clears throat> in, in this case, we will replace our inputs to sign up input here. Okay, sweet. Uh, so uh, now we are saving user credentials. Uh, into the uh, application storage uh, and the question is uh, how actually we will assign in this user so we'll go back to our button here and first of all we uh, need to add some conditions because uh, we don't want to display this button to everyone because it doesn't make sense so uh, we will add some checks here like if biometrics supports on this device and of course we have uh, one more value that will be very useful named user has stored credentials so it actually means that uh, for this website and this application we already have stored credentials okay good so um, and yeah and we want to hide it for uh in other case yeah and show it like this okay good so um and the, the next one uh, we need to add the action for our fast login button uh the action will run uh get user credential event like this and we need to observe a response of this event by using uh, biometric events named users credential received here 
And this event means that we successfully received the credential from a device, so we can move forward and sign in the user. And um, after this event called, uh, get called, um, we know that in our element, we already have this user's login after biometric authentication value. And same for password here. And that's pretty it. We can try to use our newly implemented feature on a device. So here I have the app. We are on sign in screen here. Uh, we don't see right now, we don't see fast login button because I uh have no chance to log in before so we will try to do that right now okay good so after i will tap sign in button the system will uh activate run the biometric and try to save try to verify my identity and save credentials to the device uh keychain storage Okay, let's see how it works. Okay, good. So uh, what happened uh, is actually, uh, as I described before, uh, the device checked my uh, identity and then stored the credential. So it means that if I will uh, log out right now from the app, I will see this fast login button because my device, my 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 my, uh, my credentials are right now stored on this device. So I'm logging out, going to login page, and as you can see, I have this fast login button. So it means that I actually don't need to enter my email or password anymore. I have it stored on my device. Let's try how it works. And yeah, and that's pretty it. Um, so uh, biometric uh, itself, uh, biometric feature in natively itself have uh, some different uh, things. You can check our documentation uh, in the guides. We have the bubble plugin guide here, and here is biometric. You can read about all events and what are they actually doing some states, action, etc. So thank you for your time. I hope you will find this useful and have a nice no coding.